Oh, cool. I'm going to sit down for this review <laughs> for part of it. This is Ken with MrTrek.com. And I review trucks, traders, and accessories. And today we're doing this accessory. It is the Kurt Echo. And I have been using these for actually years. I really like them. It's actually my favorite. So I had to send me out a new one so I could do an unboxing where you tear the plastic all off and all that fun stuff anyway. So here it is. We're going to put this on this transverse. And what it does is it just plugs right into your seven plug, your seven RV plug in the back of your vehicle. You plug in your trailer cord to, to it, and everything works. It goes to it gives a signal to your phone, and then on the phone you can set all your settings, and we'll show you that. And you actually have a panic button you can push if your trailer swaying. You want to stop the sway. That's the brake controller's job. You don't want to hit the foot brake when you're in a sway or an ice or snow or mountain curves. You want to use the individual brake controller because otherwise you can get into all kinds of trouble with a skid, with a sway, with, you know, rolling. You see all those terrible pictures on the internet. But anyway, this rascal here, it, uh, you know, it, it, it can very much save your life to be able to do the individual brake controller. And none of these vehicles, like this is a 2022 Transverse, which is the midsize crossover uh, category. And this is like the biggest one in the category. It's a three row. It's similar to a Cherokee L to, you know, a little bigger than Ford Explorer. There's a lot of the, in that class, very crowded class. But they don't have a brake controller. It does have the trailering package, which I was really wanted. It gives me the trailer hitch. It gives me the cooler, the, the cooler for the engine and transmission. And it gives me a, a tow haul mode. So all those are great, great to have for trailering. But no brake controller. So you got to get something aftermarket. And that's probably 30% of the trucks and SUVs that I review don't have a brake controller. So that's what we're doing here. We're showing you how you can remedy that problem. And I've had some of the bigger ones that bolt on your trailer, the bigger ones that, you know, have another big box you put on your trailer. And all that, some of them work, some of them don't. This one is the simplest one I've seen. I really like it. And I'll show you that. We'll install it. And you'll see how it works. It's really simple. But yeah, and you also want to you know, know the laws on trailering, of course. Colorado, I think it's 3,000 pounds yet to have brakes in your trailer. And I think California is like 1,300 pounds or 1,600. It's real light. So, you know, you want to know what you're doing. And all that's about safety. And, uh, you know, but look up your state. See what it is. And uh, uh, we're going to take us down the road and show you what it does. We've got a 5,000-pound trailer, which is the maximum for this, this uh, crossover. That's the max they can tow. So we'll try all that out and see how the brakes work and everything else. Pretty cool. But yeah, now next I'm going to do an unboxing. I wanted to do that. You know, all the YouTubers do this unboxing. It's really a big deal. So we're going to tear open the plastic cover and call it an unboxing. So join me for the review. Oh, okay. Unboxing the Kurt Echo. <laughs> it's more like unplasticing it. It's pretty simple. It's just got a couple tabs. Get my big fingers in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Got all kinds of information somewhere in here. They tell you. There it is. It has all the uh, cheat sheets that tell you how things go. It has this card you can put in your wallet. It has your PIN number on it. That's cool. So, you know, it's your reference. Shows you everything you need to do to adjust it. Shows this, the code you need to do so it does pair with your phone. But that's cool. And, you know, of course, it's got instructions. You always have instructions. And this is cool. But, yeah, you got to read up on all this stuff. Put the card in your wallet or your pocket or whatever. So now, oh, yeah, let me show you what this thing looks like. There it is. Isn't that cool? Yeah, let me get rid of this other stuff. Now this, oh yeah, it's complete. So here's the end that plugs into your vehicle. It's a seven-way, like you're used to. It's what most vehicles have. Then what's plugged in, it has a light right there. I'll show you that. And then on this end is the door. See the door? Isn't that door cool? And that's where you plug in your trader plug. So it's not no big deal. And then inside, inside the plug, they have the rubber strap, the rubber strap. This is what holds it onto the door of your vehicle. 
Because you know, it has a door just like this, a door for your seven way plug. You plug it in and then on your truck, this strap goes around that and holds the plug in so it's more secure. I really like that. I'll show you all that stuff. So let's see, first thing I gotta do is, let's see, which way does it go? I think I always have it to the top and you can do it however you want. But I am gonna run. I'm going to show you a close up of this, but see there's these little slots. You see the slots? That's where this rubber strap goes, and that will hold it on the door of your truck, which is cool. Hopefully you can see that. See the strap pulls through there. And then of course on the other side, you do the same thing. See it there? And you pull it through. There we go. And now we have the strap. So that's going to go and hold it all together. It's really cool though. I really like this. It's well designed. I put a lot of miles on one of these. Now I got a nice shiny new one. But yeah, still still has that little groove on top so it fits the groove on your factory seven-way plug. So it all lines up well and that lines up all your pins and there's all your pins and your accessories, your brakes, everything. So now I'm going to install it. Don't go away, Mr. Truck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I hope I can keep my fingers out of the way so you can see exactly what we're doing here. There's the brake door underneath there whether or not you can see that but that's the factory brake door this is the curt door you see you understand what I'm doing here and it's got the strap so now all I have to do is plug this end into the truck it's pretty simple it's got this tab that guides it it's this tab where am I there we are this tab guides it into the slot on the brake controller or on the truck uh, plug. I'll open up the cap and put it in there. It wasn't in your way, but there it is. There's a strap and I'm going to tie this strap over the top of the factory plug door. That's what kind of secures it. It's already actually it goes in. You'll see the tab. I'll show you that. On both ends, the truck side and this side, you'll see that there's this tab. You can get in the camera, that tab. And that slides over. Uh, the, the little piece that's like, uh, like this slides over this piece here and locks right on the back side of that right there. Locks, geez, it's hard to do this locks onto that, and then the other one locks onto that on the trailer plug. So, put it back on there, hope you can see what I'm doing. Pass my fingers, I got it up there. Now, do you see that? Let me look at it, make sure you got a good view of it. It's stuck into the trailer plug. The Kurt Echo goes into the trailer plug, and then I'm gonna tie that strap on top to the trailer plug door, and then I'll be able to stick the trailer plug into the back end of the Kurt Echo. Ah, the uh, top of the door, and then you run it. It's got several holes for adjustment, and then you put it in the, uh, the factory hole. Let's see. And if you're stretching it to make it nice and tight that helps kind of open up the door uh, the window the, uh, the strap piece Ugh. okay got it right there let me zoom that in so you can see it that's all attached now you see the rubber strap on top that's what it looks like So that strap, besides the tab, the tab on the trailer, on the, the uh, truck door, the plug-in door goes down and grabs that tab, 
on the uh, the round part of the curt, and then this rubber strap goes around the top. So it's sailed, held in place two different places. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Now yeah, let me boom it out and I'll plug in the trailer. You'll see on the trailer plug, it's got the same tab right there. And that door clips on that tab. That's what holds these in place. And you secure it in there. And you make sure that the tab. Yep, the tab is down and in place. Ah. Yeah, you can see that the tab on the door goes over top of the trailer plug. The trailer plug goes in the hole. It's a male end goes into a female end. The door tab holds it in place and now it's all secure. Okay. I'm inside the truck. I'm going to take this phone and set it up for the brake controller for the Echo. Let's see. So I got a, I downloaded the Echo plan. So it's all my loaded on there. And I'm going to hit it. And ask me if I want to pair it. And of course I want to pair it. I always wanted to pair it. So I'm going to hit OK. Yeah, I like to pair it. So I hit OK. And now it wants me to put that number in there. Enter the code. You see where it says there? Hopefully it says, you can see it, it says enter the code. And I have the code. Let's see. It's, it's the pin on the back of the card. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in here. Oh, quick that. Try it again. There we go. So it's number, number. One, two, three, number. And then we we'll hit pair. So then I hit pair. We'll see if it pairs. Oh, pairing was successful. And then I hit the continue button at the bottom. Boom. And it's loading my configurations. Oh, look at that. See, I have one, two, three, four, five profiles. I happen to have six trailers, but I can set up a different profile for each one. And look at the bottom here. You see it has controller profiles, application profiles. Yeah, let's see. It's on application profiles. I'm going to hit number one. Let's see, hit number one. Oh, look at that. Now, do you see that? That's what you want to see. So I can either activate this or on a truck without using this. I would want to squeeze the little handle that's on your brake controller. That's just, uh, that's how you, you apply pressure without applying the truck brakes. And so basically, I just play with it till I feel like the brakes are coming on right. They're not locking up. And they're giving me plenty of brake power. So I adjust mine. It's hard to just tell you, to, well, use a 10. 10 maximum. On this, I'm not sure if this is maximum 10. Let's see. Let me run it up. Looks like that is at the end of it. But I'm going to set it back down to 8 because I just got new brakes on this trailer. Set it down to 3. 
But that is really cool how this works. So this is your gain settings of these buttons at the bottom. Just like what your gain setting would be on a dash if you have a factory installed brake controller. But that's what I would do. Take it out to an end, like a big Walmart parking lot someplace you won't get in trouble. And just play with the gain settings, whether 5 is good or 6 is good. And 2, on some brake controllers, you need to actually, some are self-adjusting, proportional. And some you need to adjust between an empty trailer and a loaded trailer. So now, I'm going to go put a camera on the brakes and we'll see if I can't lock these puppies up. <laughs> well, just to show you that how it works is all it is a demonstration. So if you push that button and hold it, then it's also holding your trailer brakes. So I want to show you how that works. Okay, hopefully you can see me. Do is you tap on it. When it goes to sleep, get a red button and you push on it and there's your brakes. This is something you have to learn to learn to adjust, but it's pretty cool. I've got it set on, what do I have it set on? I have it set on 3 and 30 max. So you want to read the instructions of your brake controller, but that's how I adjust, just like I do weight distributing hitches. Yes, you should weigh it, you should know your weights. But I've been doing it long enough now that I can just feel how it needs to be on how tight I have my spring arms on a weight distributing edge. These are all things you learn, and the more you trade them, the more you will know, and the better you'll be at adjusting things. Yep, so the more you use it, the more you'll know, the better you'll be. The safer you'll be. So... Hope that big face doesn't scare you. I just threw the camera on the windshield. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you learned something that will make you safer in trailering. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends about it. And I'll see you at the gas station.